Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope your week is off to a great start. Uh, we are continuing on with the best of 2023 series today. Um, last week I shared my skincare favorites from the previous year and today I want to share the five skincare devices that I used the most consistently in 2023 and that I think for me personally made the biggest difference in the overall look of my skin. So the tone, the texture, just the feel of it. So um, that is what I am sharing in today's video. If you missed the skincare portion, um, I will be linking that in the description box down below. I will also link all of these devices down there. Well, one of them is now discontinued. You'll know which one I'm talking about um, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time. But um, the remainder of these devices are currently still available. So if you are interested in co incorporating any of these into your routine, they'll be linked down below. Definitely go read up a little bit more about these particular devices. Um, read up other people's reviews. I think that that's always helpful as well. So um, yeah, check the description box. She's a plethora of information. But for me, skincare devices really kind of go hand in hand with just like my, my skincare products. So like the cleansers, the toners, that kind of stuff. For me, devices are a step that I incorporated or started incorporating a few years ago. And I really do think that they have made a difference in terms of helping me age a little bit slower. Um, I don't know that any of these devices have really like turned back the hands of time um and I, i'm only 45 so i'm really not that old but my, my own personal goals with my skincare routine um whether it's with the actual you know like skincare products or whether it's with the devices is just to kind of slow down the aging process like i'm not trying to halt it altogether i think for me personally just with my head i have a really hard time keeping up with the passage of time and it really is true that the older you get, the faster things kind of just pass you by. Like the passage of time, especially after you have kids, is just wild. It's nuts how fast things seem to go. But yeah, like that's that's my entire purpose with using any of these devices that I'm sharing with you guys today. It's just to help my skin look its best for the age that I am. Um, I think I'm lucky in that because I did start to take care of my skin about, it's yeah, it's been about 10 years now that I've really been into skincare. I think that I have definitely made a lot of progress and honestly, I did reverse some signs of aging in myself um, with the use of skincare and devices. I've definitely improved the overall um, tone and texture of my skin. I don't have nearly as much textural issues. My pores look so much smaller and I think that is thanks to not only the skincare but also the devices. So for me, it's kind of a two-pronged approach and again, I'm not against aging. I will tell you, um, the only in-office procedures that I have done um, at the med spa that I go to is um, I have Xeomin and I do get that three times a year. I've been getting Xeomin now for several years. I get it in my forehead and um, that is just because I have a very expressive face and I was getting some pretty deep lines up there. My makeup was collecting in those lines and that was just frustrating. So. But I've noticed that the longer that I've used Xeomin, like I used to have to go four times a year, you know, basically like every three months essentially. But the longer that I've gotten the treatment, the more I think my muscles have kind of atrophied, if you will. And I can go longer between the, um, the injections. I also get Xeomin injected into my masseter muscles. That is not for beauty reasons at all. That is because I am a teeth grinder and clencher. And I have destroyed not only my teeth that way, but also I was starting to impact my gums. I do have some gum recession that's taking place and it is a result of the grinding. And that is something that I will have to address in the next couple of years. So bummer. <laughs> I would say if you are still younger and you are a constant clencher and grinder, if you at all can get your insurance to cover the talks for you in your masseter muscles, or if you are if you have the budget to pay for it out of pocket, it is something that was like such a game changer for me. I just, I no longer have tension headaches. I no longer have that tension in my jaw. I definitely had a lot of bulkiness here that is no longer um, present because again, 
you know, tox will atrophy the muscles. So that's kind of the whole idea. It does not affect the way that I eat. It doesn't affect the way that I chew or anything like that. I can still do all of those things. I just don't have the urge to clench and grind the way that I used to. So um, anyway, those are the only in-office procedures I've had done. Um, several years ago, I had some sebaceous hyperplasia treated with plasma pen. But other than that, like I haven't done, um, I haven't done any lasers. I haven't done Morpheus. I haven't done any in-office peels or anything like that. I've just been tackling everything at home and that works for me right now I'm not opposed to further treatments at some point in the future um, in office treatments are going to be a lot more aggressive um, they are probably also going to give you more substantial results so for me using the devices now while a lot of my like issues which I mean does it really matter in the grand scheme of things and probably not but I don't know it's something for me to do it's a hobby it's my thing just get off my butt about it. <laughs> but um, I do think that these um, these at home devices have done a good job at again, slowing things down and kind of putting off in office treatments a little further into the future for me. So anyway, I'm a big, big proponent of at home devices, only if and seriously guys, uh, really think about whether you want to take the time to use these properly. If you're not consistent, if you're not willing to use them according to the instructions, then I wouldn't waste my time because there's nothing worse than spending, you know, three, $400 on a device and then being excited about it for a few weeks and then realizing, oh man, this is really time consuming. I, I actually, ha I have to do this. I have to do it either every day, I have to do it three times a week, I have to do it for 10 minutes, I have to do it for 20 minutes. If you are not the type that can sit still, if you just don't have the time for that, if you have young children or you just don't have the patience for it, then don't use devices. Um, for you, it might be better to maybe save up for one more, maybe more dramatic in-office treatment so that you you know get the results that you want and then you can kind of try to maintain that with skincare as best as possible. But yeah, if you don't have the patience for these devices, don't invest in them. There's nothing worse than having hundreds of dollars of at-home devices sitting in a cabinet in your bathroom unused with you just looking at them periodically going, oh, that was a lot of money that I blew on something that I have no interest in actually using. So I think that's really important if you're thinking about investing in any of these devices. If it's not in your personality or your DNA to want to take the time to do this stuff, just, you know, don't waste your money. Stick with the skincare and like I said, maybe save for a more dramatic in-office procedure. So that that would be my own personal path <laughs> if I didn't have the patience for this stuff. But I believe in taking the time for self-care. It's really important to me. It helps my mental health and um, yeah, I, I make the time for it. Do I always technically have the time for it? No, but I make the time. So. All right, you guys, um, let's get into it. It was it was not really hard to pick out the five that I use the most consistently because I, I've mentioned them multiple times here on my channel. I think there's one that I don't think I talked about very much last year at all, but I did use it at least once a week and I'll save that one for last. I'm gonna get started with the most used. So these are essentially from like daily to like multiple times a week and then down to like maybe like once a week type of situations. Daily. It's my Clarisonic, you guys. I still live for this particular device. I know there are a lot of people out there who do not believe in cleansing devices, especially the Clarisonic. This really got a bad rap from a lot of people, but I've been using this since 2011. I've been through a couple of these devices, and the company is now defunct, um, which bums me out. I did purchase a bunch of the replacement heads um, before they went under. So, and I do have two of these devices. I have a like travel Mia one, and then I have this Clarisonic Smart Profile. Um, love, love this device. I use the deep pore cleansing head. Um, I just think that for me with my enlarged pores, 
nothing has ever gotten my skin quite as clean and like a deep clean as this particular device has. I don't scrub my skin with it. I literally just glide it over. And I think when used properly, I don't think this is like an unhealthy device for your skin. Not that you can even get it anymore. For a while, their current body was still selling Clarisonic. I think that like they had some kind of partnership with the company where they maybe bought a bunch of like devices from them or something to have on hand and replacement heads. I'm not sure if that's still the case. If, if it is, I will definitely link it down below. But do know that getting replacement heads for this are kind of tough. Now, I in the past did try to use replacement heads from like generic companies and that resulted in one of my devices going kaput pretty quickly after trying to incorporate a cheaper option when it comes to the brush head. So I learned my lesson there, um, but I still love this thing. I think it's still a game changer for me. Now, when it goes away, this is my second most used facial cleansing device. This one I always take with me traveling now. I don't even take the Mia with me. Um, I just keep that in the bathroom as my backup for basically when this one dies for use at home. But for travel, this is great. It's also, I will also just use this in the morning sometimes if I want like a facial massage. This has that T-Sonic pulsation. Um, so that's like the sonic cleansing that you're getting from this. It just feels like a lovely massage. And um, since I don't use the Clarisonic on my neck, I like to sometimes use this on my neck because it's very gentle. These are silicone bristles um, and these uh, are great at not harboring bacteria. Um, this device also stays charged forever. I think one full charge will get you like six months of use out of this thing. I've only charged it a couple times since I've gotten it. Um, I would like to, once I'm, uh, once I'm completely done with the Clarisonic, I will be purchasing like the larger size to have at home and I will use that in the evening. And then this one again will become my little, it, well, it will stay my little travel device. I think if you are wanting to incorporate a cleansing device, this one is so gentle. It doesn't tug at the skin. Um, again, these bristles, like they're, they're super soft, you guys. Like you just, you're not damaging your skin at all with this bad boy unless you're like scrubbing at it, which I don't know why you would do that. Again, it's just simply gliding it across the skin and letting the bristles do the work. I just think you get a deeper cleaning. And for me, because of my enlarged pores, it's kind of a must. So for me, the Foreo Go is, it's been a staple in my routine in 2023. It will continue to be one in 2024 and beyond. So those are my two cleansing devices. And yes, there's two cleansing devices. But again, for me, with my particular skin type, it's just the best fit. All right, the second most used type of device and I am so consistent with it is my red light therapy. This is my beloved Mito Pro. Um, I do have a video about red light. I have several videos on my channel about red light therapy. Um, I do have a discount code for this one. I've also been using the iThera U device as well. Um, I like that device. I have that one hanging up right now. Um, people have been asking me what, what the difference is between the two. They both have the same wavelength of lights. Um, I think the construction of the Mito is a little bit, um, like this one just feels maybe slightly more well made. It's, it's definitely heavier. <laughs> um, and that one is a little, the, the iThera U is larger, but it's definitely a lot more lightweight. So it, in terms of longevity, I've had this one for several years now and it's still going strong. I love it. This has the two wavelengths of light that you need for anti-aging benefits. So um, again, check out my red light videos on that. But I use red light therapy almost every single day. Um, there may be a couple times during, I'm just gonna set this down cause it's kind of heavy. Another thing I wanted to say about this is like, like I mentioned, I've had it for several years. So I know that in terms of like the lasting power of the, I think that's important. So I can tell you this one has held up beautifully and I've had it for several years now, no issues with the bulbs, um, very easy to use, very easy to hang up on the door over here and I just freaking I love it. But I use red light therapy for anti-aging on my face and my neck. 
Um, I have started using it because as you may be familiar, if you're following me last year towards the latter part of the year, I was experiencing hair loss. Um, that was a combination of hormonal stuff as well as some severe anemia that I was not aware of. Um, anyway, the red light therapy combined with a lot of the like other topicals that I've been using have really helped my hair to rebound. I have a ton of new growth. There's a lot of research behind red light therapy and it promoting hair growth, so something worth looking into if you're struggling with that. So my routine is in the morning after I apply my Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner, I will come in here after about 20 minutes. I want that to fully absorb. I come in here, I sit in front of either the Mito or the iTheraU device, and I will do about 10 to 15 minutes depending how much time I have. And I just little, I'll sit there and I just meditate. I close my eyes, I sit in front of the device for my face, and I let it go and then afterwards I go into the bathroom I finish my skincare routine really quickly and then get ready for the day in the evening I will then also come back in here and I will treat my scalp so what I do is I sit with my back to the device for about um, I would say like eight minutes or so then I will do the side of my head for about five minutes another five minutes over here and then I also will bend my head down just because I have it hanging on the door over here, like this is just the way that I do it. And I sit on my exercise ball, which I'm sitting on right now. It's, that's why you see me bouncing around. Sometimes it's, it's an exercise ball, I don't sit on a chair. But um, yeah, and then I will treat the top of my scalp as well. And you guys, it has been, it's been so great for helping me regrow my hair. Um, I, do, um, I do that not necessarily every single day for my scalp, um, for my face. Again, I try to do every single day. Um, but for my scalp, if I get like four or five days a week, then I'm doing pretty good. You don't want to overdo it with red light therapy, which is also why I kind of break it up between doing my face in the morning and my head in the evening. Um, you typically don't want to exceed around, I think, 25 to 30 minutes of red light therapy. Not that I think necessarily anything bad is going to happen, but it just it starts to be kind of mute after that point. So there's only so much red light that your body can absorb essentially. So um, anyway, uh, I love red light therapy. I'm a huge believer in it. I will never not use it. Um, I also have a mat that I use on my body as well. So if you are, if you're getting in your mid forties and you have aches and pains, I use my red light therapy for my back aches quite frequently. Um, if I'm dealing with leg cramps, sometimes I will just, you know, get out that mat and whatever, you know, calf is freaking out on me in that moment. Um, I will just kind of lay my, you know, my leg on top of the, the thing, the mat, the red light mat, and, um, you know, just kind of let, let my calf muscle relax that way for a little bit. But it really is fantastic for a whole host of issues. So if you are dealing with anything, look into whatever your condition is and then, you know, also combine that in your Google search with red light therapy and see if there's some evidence um, for whatever condition you're dealing with and the benefits of red light therapy. For me, it's been a game changer. I will never not use red light therapy. I would love to have like a whole like setup that I can just stand in front of. <laughs> And I still have goals of doing that. Um, you can, you know, purchase stands. I just, I so believe in it. And it's something that I want to use for the long term. So that is something that I'm saving for and wanting to invest in. I had a pretty good savings set aside for that, but there were some family issues that came up. And so that money needed to be used for something else. And that's fine. But I have started the process of resaving for that particular like full body device. I just really think that that is, it's really important to me to incorporate that into my overall health routine. So we're back to saving for that. All right, next, um, it's microcurrent. I used to really enjoy EMS, but I found it to just be a little bit aggressive. It's, it's definitely, um, it's not as a relaxing of a treatment as microcurrent can be. And the device for me is definitely this Foreo Bear. You guys, this is so easy to use. It connects to the Foreo app. It literally takes you through the treatments. It's so easy to use. This has an anti-shock system in it, which a lot of like EMS and um, uh, microcurrent devices 
shockingly, uh, don't have. Um, I think Foreo was one of the first to actually incorporate that. But um, this is this is a small device. It's quite powerful, and it really does help, especially the definition on my jaw. So getting the tox in my masseter muscles unfortunately meant that I lost a lot of volume back here, and that has resulted in that skin, you know, that was like nicely stretched out while I had those massive uh, masseter muscles. That skin is now just, you know. It's just hanging, hanging out. So um, I do have some slight jowling that has started as a result of that. That's fine, I'll take the jowling. But I've noticed that like, as long as I'm consistent with using this along my jawline, and also I really like to use it on this part of my face, it gives me a really nice lifted effect. Um, now, microcurrent is one of those things where you do have to use it consistently. Um, when I use it consistently, I have a great, more defined look to my face. But again, if you're not willing to sit there at least a few times a week to keep up with this, I don't think it's worth investing in, but I love this thing. Um, and I, t I do, I totally keep it in this little thing here in my bathroom drawer. I just find that it keeps these, um, these little metal parts here protected a little bit more. So don't throw this little pouch away if you end up buying one of these devices. Absolutely worthwhile. If, if this one futzes out on me at some point, I'll, I'll buy another one right away. Like I have no problem spending money on this device now because I get really good results from it. And the last one I wanted to mention is, um, so this is my Tripolar Stop VX. This also has EMS um, built into the device as well, but I'm only using it for radio frequency. Radio frequency is really wonderful for kind of helping to tighten the skin overall. And so I use this about once a week. There are a couple weeks that will go by sometimes where I just forget to use it, or again, I get a little bit lazy. I would rather put emphasis on some of these other things because, you know, I just, they, they just give me such like noticeable results. Radio frequency is a little bit more of a long-term gain. Um, so you have to use it consistently for a longer period of time. But again, it helps to rebuild the collagen in your skin. It helps to kind of keep things looking a little bit more youthful. Will you get more dramatic results with in-office radio frequency? Yeah, but this is a great device for home. If you don't have the money to spend on an in-office treatment, or better yet, if you get the in-office treatment and you're looking to prolong the results of that, get an at-home radio frequency device. Now, Tripolar does just have their original Tripolar device, which I think at this point is probably a lot less expensive than say like the Stop VX. But if you're looking to combine EMS with radio frequency, this is a great one, obviously. But I will go ahead and link this as well as just the original, which I also have in the description box down below. This is an incredibly well-made device. It is very easy to use. You do need some conductivity gel. I really like the new face one. Um, I just buy it in like a big, like the big pump that they have. I think it's like 10 or like 15 ounces or something like that. So it's a significant amount of product. It lasts quite some time. Um, so you do have that expense as well with radio frequency and quite frankly with EMS as well. So you have to have conductivity gel. So I'll link the one that I really like the most down below. I know there's a lot of people that just use like aloe vera or something like that. I don't know. I just, that makes me a little bit nervous. So I just, I, I just buy the new face. I, it's just a part of the expense of like using these devices. So it is what it is. Anyway, you guys, radio frequency, I think is another one that just has, overall has helped to improve the look of my pores over time. Just, you know, the texture, the tone, my skin just overall has a little bit more youthfulness to it because of adding in and being somewhat consistent with the radio frequency. But you guys, these are my five most used devices. For me, the two that I absolutely could never get rid of would be a cleansing device and then my red light therapy. You will have to pry uh, these panels from my cold dead hands. <laughs> I will never stop using them. I'm such a believer in red light therapy. I've gotten my mom into it. It's, it's a must. Please, if you have not researched the benefits of red light therapy, I just cannot tell you what a difference it's made for me. Um, you know, even when I am PMSing and I'm dealing with cramps, sometimes I will literally just come in here and I will lower the device to like my, you know, like my tummy area and I will just stand in front of it sometimes and the warmth and just the overall like benefits of the red light, it helps those muscles relax and 
just makes the cramps a lot less painful, like to the point where I don't even have to take Tylenol for them. So if I can avoid taking a pill for pain, um, I would rather do that and, you know, use something like red light therapy to kind of help me along in the process. Anyway, you guys, those are the devices from last year. Um, let me know if you are a skincare device person or if you're not. Um, if you're not, let me know why. <laughs> Usually I think it's because people just don't have the patience for it, but um, if you have another reason, definitely let me know. But check out the description box. Um, go read up about these devices if you're interested. They have definitely been worthwhile for me. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in for this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up for the algorithm gods. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.